And the Minister for Health, Dr. Sage Hani Redon, Yan said till date, over 2,000 persons done they tested for coronavirus disease. A Hani Rewe opened this year on Wednesday for the Presidential Task Force briefing for COVID-19 inside Apuja. And Yan say of the total number of people who test positive for COVID-19, and say 70 percent of them na man. And according by him, the age range of those victims are between 30 and 60 years. As of today, the 1st of April 2020, Nigeria has recorded 139 confirmed COVID-19 cases. 82 are in Lagos, 28 in the FCT, 8 in Oyo, 5 in Oshun. Four in Ogun, three in Kaduna, two each in Bauchi, Edo, and Enugu, and one each in Benue, Ekiti, and River States. A breakdown of the cases shows that 70% are male, while about 30% are female. The age range is mostly between 30 and 60 years, but I must be quick to stress that both men and women of all ages can be infected. Nine persons have been successfully treated and discharged from hospital, and two deaths are the only ones still on record from COVID-19. Both persons had serious underlying ailments, which no doubt aggravated their conditions. The Federal Ministry of Health is using the window of opportunity of the lockdown in the FCT, Lagos, and Ogun to accelerate activities to detect, isolate, and treat cases. This is important because our ability to achieve the objectives in these states, these states and the Federal Capital Territory, we largely define our success in slowing the spread of infection in our country. As federal and state governments deploy human and material resources to achieve this end, a critical factor will be the cooperation of members of the public. I shall at this point remind everyone of the injunctions of His Excellency the President to all citizens to stay at home in the areas under lockdown. There is no need for travel. You are safe where you are. And by doing this, you would have contributed a lot to the efforts of government to quickly put coronavirus under control and return to our routine activities. As part of preparedness in the Abuja metropolis, we have over 1,000 bed spaces ready for isolation and treatment of mild to moderate cases, which we can expand if need arises. We have ICU units ready in Guagualada and National Hospital for those who may have complications, especially those with the underlying illnesses like tuberculosis, HIV, cancer, and also the elderly. We again urge families to protect their elderly and vulnerable people by not ex exposing them to unnecessary social hazards. I held a press conference, not a press conference, I held a teleconference earlier today with state commissioners of health during which many issues were covered to have a better alignment between the federal and state structures. I urged them all to identify and establish isolation centers for treatment of mild and moderate cases. Uh, just to add to his update on the cases, in addition to the cases, some of these are individual cases that have come back, uh, have been infected, but some of these are also parts of larger clusters. Uh, so we are investigating them. There's a ship cluster, a, a number of people that were on a vessel just outside of Lagos, and a number of people that were invest investigated and became infected as part of a group 
of uh, people that came back to Nigeria together. So this is very diligent work. Every case is investigated. And sometimes through that investigation, we find out that there are a cluster of cases. We investigate them. And then the public health measures are focused on that specific uh, scenario. But for most other cases, the individual cases are within their families, and those are managed uh, appropriately. So this very hard work will not be possible without some technology. So I'll focus the last few minutes on briefing you on some of the work that we're doing across various uh, aspects using technology that you have access to, to some extent. So for all our surveillance and contact tracing, we're using a digital platform called SOMAS uh, to collect information on all the cases, all the contacts. These are then displayed on dashboards at the federal level, at the state level. With those dashboards, we understand the progress of case finding every day. That dashboard informs us on where the contacts are, where the cases, which contacts are linked to what case. So it is with this information that we send out teams every morning to do the detailed investigation required. As at, as at this morning, we are following up on 70% of the over 5,000 contacts that we have identified. Every day, we are pushing that number higher, and that is one of the key purposes of the lockdown in Lagos, Abuja, and the Ogun State, to enable the teams to find these contacts, make sure they're well. Those that are sick, bring them into care. Those that are well, follow them up for 14 days. So this is the primary strategy at the moment. We couldn't do any of this without the technology to support the work that we're doing. So in addition to the dashboard, everybody has a, a handheld device that they use once they go to the individual's home or call them, they put in that information. Immediately that information is put into the handheld. It appears on the dashboard. We know whether that pe person has been seen on that day or not seen on that day. We monitor that in real time in our emergency operations center.